I think one of the challenges we observe in the current age is that everyone already has pre-construed opinions. Our society is really adversarial. We see a lot of polarization. You know, we have prior beliefs and we only accept facts that are consistent with, with what we already believe in. The biggest strength of the academic process is to give us a framework to approach problems rather than necessarily approach problems through violence, through um, unconstructive arguments. It's all about finding a way of trying to move to one side all your prior biases, move to side all your prior moral values and judgments and all your pre-constructed conclusions and instead just be driven by some sort of objective methodology to get to the truth. One of the things that we teach people in the PhD program is about having an open mind. You do a, a, a literature analysis and you say, I'm pretty sure that this is what's going on. And then when you do the actual research and do the analysis, you just go, oh, that's actually not what's going on. Before I started my PhD, this was my goal, to make truth a more accessible concept for everyone. This is probably the most enlightening part of science and certainly of any PhD. The very process of engaging in this search for truth is really an, an uplifting process that also has an effect on, on your personality and how you approach the broader life outside of pure academic pursuits. Which I think is the main advantage of really doing a PhD. You get to think for your own. Isaac Newton has had this great expression, which is, if I saw farther, it's because I stood on the shoulders of giants. Every time you fill a hole in the wall of knowledge, it allows someone to stand a little bit higher. Even the tiniest contribution is important and useful and really interesting when you put it back into its bigger picture story. One of the most enlightening parts of modern science is an ability to bring people together through some sort of objective standard. And that's really what a PhD is. It's a journey to get to the fundamentals of why things are as they are. And to get to that point, you have to be the real deal.